hello vlog guys i don't know what's gotten into me i feel like this happens every maybe like six months or it used to happen to me when i was making youtube videos like years ago i would go through phases where it was like harder for me to talk to the camera and this morning i was trying to film like a quick intro to this vlog i was just stumbling over my words and i could not string a sentence together for no reason. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy my day. I was quite busy on site and I was like, I'm just gonna like take videos and put some music over it and then chat with them after the match. As you guys probably already know, we are at the Indian Wells tournament and I'm very excited to be doing a full blown tennis vlog for you guys this week. I'm also working quite a bit this tournament which is really fun for like brand press sort of stuff the next tournament guys in terms of tennis i have a very big exciting announcement so i'm very excited to officially announce that with you guys soon but i spent a lot of time on the site yesterday i had a meeting and i wanted to shoot this look that you guys might have seen on my instagram and i had an editor come to my new york city pop-up from forbes and i wasn't sure if she was gonna write an article about the pop-up but we just invited her to come to our press day and she ended up writing something about Jerry Boy and we've been in touch with her and she's gonna be writing a piece that's going live tomorrow in Forbes about my new office opening and Dairy Boy and the look that I did with Miu Miu and New Balance so I will leave the link to that article just really cool to be recognized by an amazing writer and an amazing publication so that was really cool today on site I had to shoot uh, Pandora and Lioness which was like the whole outfit that I was wearing today and my mom is here which is so fun she just adores tennis and loves coming to this tournament and Olivia's here but we have a big big drop tomorrow probably our biggest drop ever we are launching our woodland white camo set that we've been working on for so long i'm gonna vlog the whole launch day tomorrow i also asked you guys on instagram what you wanted to see this week in the vlog and a lot of people said they wanted to see like more behind the scenes content of the tennis tour i'm gonna give you guys a little tour tomorrow more in-depth of like the players lounge the dining area I'm gonna go to bed and i will see you guys bright and early tomorrow for our dairy boy drop okay it's 10. this is insane there's six thousand people on the website right now what the fuck bro 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 <laughs> i don't what need that actual oh, fuck <laughs> Insane. That was so smart. many people are How coming inside. I, I haven't even been able to. Yo, who's doing shit? Then? Dude, screw this tournament. I know, right? You don't need to play tennis anymore. Dude, what, like, what am I even doing? Running around, grinding out there. <laughs> he, he just goes WTF. I'm just in complete shock right now. I cannot believe what just happened, and um, like the drop was just insane we've never ordered that many units before and we ordered a lot not expecting it to sell out honestly we were just trying to get a gauge on like sizes and how many sizes to order in each thing but everything sold out so it's insane i am so so grateful so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i'm emotional and in shock just Thank you. Okay vlog, we're about to run out to the match for today. It is a doubles match, so it's just like fun and pretty casual. I am wearing this little skirt from Tank Air. Very comfy and cute. And then this tank is just from H&M. Liv, have you said hi to the vlog yet? Briefly. Liv Jer. Hi. We're gonna head to the doubles match and hopefully grab a drink and maybe, oh. So yeah, we're gonna head there now and I will give you guys a little behind the scenes tour of the player's lounge, the player's dining area. I'll do my best without getting kicked out. <laughs> Heading to 
like the double match. I really like this wide lens. See how wide it is? Oh, is that a new one? Yeah. I'm making a lot of chicken parm tonight. So this is gonna be how I'm gonna do it. I just have parm, parsley, garlic powder, and panko. And then I do a layer of just flour and then this breading, I'll show you guys. having a good hair day. So it's like 12 right now and he's gonna be on soon. This might be one of my favorite outfits that I've worn all weekend. My whole outfit today is from Reformation. Little gingham shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts that I've worn in a very long time. Like it's just so cute. I feel very comfortable in it. And this little mini low rise mini skirt. And then I'm wearing Le Spec sunglasses and I'm wearing Reformation shoes too that I will show you guys, but we need to run there because I'm running a little bit behind today. Tommy won his match. That was a really good match. He played against a really tough opponent today. We have some drinks. We're just gonna watch. There's like a big screen in front of us. We're just gonna watch and then head back to the house in a little bit. To where? I don't know. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Should we go to anthropology? Yeah. We're gonna go shopping for my mom. My mom was only planning on staying for like a day or two. And I've convinced her to stay. So I think we're gonna run to do a little bit of shopping. I'm probably not gonna do any shopping, but I'm there to support my mom in her shopping. You don't shop much either at all. I don't. But this morning, Tommy and I went to a friend's house for breakfast and they're staying at this house that has horses and it was so nice to see some horses this morning. We had like a little bit of a brunch. Today is Tommy's off day and yeah, so we're just chilling. He's gonna be going to practice. So we're just hanging out today and he has a match tomorrow, which we're very excited about. Okay, our errands are done for the day. I think we're just gonna head back to the house now and make probably a little snack and then start thinking about cooking dinner.
match, which is really exciting. He is in the quarterfinals now of the tournament, but it's been just so fun. The weather's been so beautiful and I really have no complaints. Do you have any complaints? No complaints. No complaints. Life is good. Life is really good. Tommy has his match tomorrow, so no day off, just straight into the next match, which is honestly kind of nice. Good morning vlog. Today is the quarterfinals and I'm really excited. We have been here for a while now. This tournament is just so special, so being able to be here until the quarterfinals is just such a treat. I've also been so busy recently that this week has felt like just almost like a vacation in a really nice way. It's been a very relaxing week. This place is pretty relaxing and the weather has been so nice and the tennis has been really nice and just spending time with Tommy and his team who I love very much and my mom. We just had a team meeting actually while I was doing my makeup. We have weekly touch base meetings. Um, we just had a great meeting about recapping our drop which just blew us all away. It was absolutely incredible and amazing and I just couldn't be more grateful for you guys and for anyone who supported that drop. But we had a really great meeting. We touched base on things that we did well, things we could have done better, products launching soon, and just a lot of very exciting things to come. So my makeup is all done. I'm wearing my hair up today. I actually have Olaplex in my hair, a little mask bun situation. I actually need to run out the door very soon. So I'm going to show you guys what I think I'm gonna wear. So I just went with this tank. This is literally my favorite tank top. And this low rise denim skirt. We are on the way to the match now and every single day before Tommy goes on, he has texted me the same exact message. Hey babe, I'm gonna get ready. I love you, see you out there with two exclamation points. And he's, I feel like he's copy pasted the same thing. He's not the most superstitious tennis player. I wouldn't say. After a week of wearing heels, I have blisters. This is a reality at this point in the tournament where I've worn heels to the matches all week and I have blisters. So, sneaker girl today. vlog about to run out for the semifinals today this week has just been so incredible i'm so proud of tommy for just for this tournament it's his favorite tournament and to have accomplished this is just incredible it should be a good one we need to go run there right now but i will see you guys at the site just packing up now actually we're gonna go back to LA tonight to my apartment and then I'm gonna quickly pack my stuff and then we're heading to Miami for the Miami Open I'm doing something very exciting with the Miami Open so I have to be there like right when the tournament starts I'm gonna do an announcement for you guys on all of that this has been in the works for a long time so I'm really excited to announce that but I'm not gonna be in LA this week so I'm going right to our place in Florida um, but we're driving back tonight because I think Tommy's gonna take a flight early tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna leave later in the day once I run a few errands. But this week was so amazing, guys. I can't even really express how amazing and special this week 
was I just felt like I spent really quality time with Tommy and my mom and Tommy's team. Also, Tommy just had an amazing week. Obviously, making it to the semifinals of an 1,000 level tournament is a huge accomplishment, but he also did play really, really well tonight in his match. Aww. Your ankle's okay? Yeah. That's what people are gonna be wondering. Yeah, it's fine. Tommy rolled his ankle literally in half in the tiebreaker. Did it hurt in the tiebreak? Yeah, it hurt. It hurt pretty good. <laughs> Not, not the best time to roll your ankle, but anyways, I'm very excited for next week. And just to be back in Florida, I have not been back to Florida in a minute. And then I'm really hoping after Florida, I can make it to Connecticut. I have not been spending much time in Connecticut and I really miss it so much. And it's starting to warm up at home. And this is my favorite time to start riding again when it's not so cold. So anyways, I will see you guys next Sunday.